Hello, everybody. This is Elton Ray James Lanier, and I am here bringing you another episode of the Mushroom News. And today we are going to read an article that was published on the internet on Channel 9 News in Vinton, Iowa. Um, and I'll just jump right into it. The title of this story is, While Many Hunt, One Eastern Iowa Man Farms His Own Morel Mushrooms. Many morel mushroom hunters have already been hitting the trails, but one farmer is taking matters into his own hands. A farmer in Vinton says he has crafted a science that has led him to grow hundreds of pounds of morels this season, and he expects next year to get into the thousands of pounds. There are a lot of steps that go into being a good morel mushroom hunter, knowing what trees to look for, where to find those trees, and the best time to hunt. But there are not many that have taken a path like Josh Osborne. I've been interested and hunted them all our lives since we were kids. So I was wondering why nobody was growing them, Osborne said. He has turned the annual hunt into a year-round effort. I've got notebooks of stuff researching the morels, Osborne said, because that's basically why I started it. I've always been a mushroom lover, and when I was a kid, it was just morel. That's all I wanted, both indoors and outdoors. Osborne became a mushroom farmer, now working under the label Blue's Best Mushrooms, originating from his middle name, Blue. His prized crop, morel mushrooms, would likely take others years to collect. Osborne said it started with a morel more than 10 years ago, inspired by his brother. The first one I grew was in the basement of my house in town, Osborne said, who admitted he thought it was easier than he expected. He learned in the years after he got lucky his first time around. But like all farms using the right mixture, things grew. Once I got a decent handle on how to get them to grow, I've been trying to expand it ever since, Osborne said. Osborne monitors their growth, harvests when the mushrooms are ready for harvest, and works the area grocery stores to sell them, taking the hunt out of the morel season and turning it into a science. I've already started stuff for next year, Osborne said. And as I see mushrooms popping, I start a culture for the following spring, making him less of a farmer and more of a morel magician. Those interested in learning more about Blue's Best Mushrooms can visit its Facebook page. And that's Blue's Best Mushrooms in Iowa. And that's it for one more awesome episode of Mushroom News. And this was Elton Ray James Lanier, and I will talk to you later. Please leave me a comment about this interesting subject of morels. Do you hunt morels? Have you tried to culture morels? Have you attempted to grow morels in your indoor area or an outdoor patch? What is your experience with mushroom cultivation when it comes to morels? So subscribe to the channel, leave a like for the video, and comment down below. Over now, y'all.